Well, hello, everybody. This is Gloria Harlow Drummond. I'm clapping. Praise God, hallelujah. Jackie, I'm very proud of you for what for the scope you just did a little while ago. I was crying. I, w I was crying, and praise God, hallelujah. Praise God, hallelujah, for, Jack for Jackie's scope. All this evil, all this evil. I had to take a little nose, but that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Oh, my heavens, my heavens. God's word, God's word is not symbolic. God's, whatever it says in, the whole, in God's holy word is truthful. It's the truth. In spirit and in truth, the Bible was written for us to go by in these last in these last days we are in these la we are in the end times all this stuff was already talked about in God's holy word it was already talked about to be expected to be expected racial division racial division how a lot of this got started racial division the devil, the devil wants to cause division, division, more Bible prophecy. Sure, God is love, God is joy, peace, and you pre we preach about joy and peace and the love of God and, and lifting, lifting one another up, loving one another. But you can't tap dance around the truth. You cannot tap dance around the truth. All these killings, all over the, it's all over the United States and everywhere. It's all over, not just, not just in Dallas. I pray, I pray for those fat, those dear families. We must, we must get out of the TV and get down on our knees and pray for the, for the nation, for the nation to turn back to God. In God we trust. In God we trust. The devil's not going to win. The devil knows his his ending. And he's turning up the heat, people. He's turning up the heat. And we know what God's word says, those of us that believe the Bible. What God's word says that's going to happen in these last days. That's going to happen in these last days. We are there, people. We are there. There's no need to fear. If we have Jesus in our hearts, if we need, if we have Jesus in our hearts, there's no need to fear. And I've said this I don't know how many times. I would lay down my life for him. I would lay down my life for him. Many have and many will be decapitated, have our heads cut off. It's evil, 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 evil. This isn't, this isn't a dress rehearsal. This is the real deal, people. This is the real deal. And I say praise God, hallelujah, again, for Miss Jackie's scope that she did earlier. It lit a fire in me. It lit a fire in me. Big time lit a fire in me. I'm going to read, I'm going to read 2 Corinthians 2.11. 2 Corinthians 2.11. I'm just shaking. I'm just shaking. We as the body of Christ stand in unity together. We have to fight. We have to, we have to fight against the wiles of the devil. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against the principalities. The evil works of the devil the evil works of the devil like Beyonce's videos and stuff that she does trying to stir up strife and division praise God hallelujah so many so many things so many things to stir up strife and, and get get all that all all that stuff going again again racial racial division 
everything that's going on in this world, everything that's going on in this world. I don't know. Hope I'm not freezing up. I hope I'm not. It says I'm only. Ha I only have one. Josie D. Forty-one twenty-six. Josie. When I watched Jackie's scope earlier, it lit a fire in me. In fact, I was going to get the bullhorn out and I was going. I was going to sound the alarm on that and and do it from back at, back in the corner and and do it. But I thought, well, I probably better not because it's late. It's late. But so many people are afraid to speak up. That's why I did my World Vision Day video uh, scope. I did that out at, at the mall, trying to tell people about the Lord and, and, and what's coming on this land, what's already here. And the atheists out there, it's a wake-up talk. It's a wake-up call. Yes, we need Jesus. It's a major wake-up call. And things are only going to get worse. Things are going to get worse. We have to have Jesus. We have to have Jesus walking with, beside us to protect us. To protect us. And He will. He will protect us. So many people that doesn't believe in the Lord, doesn't believe in Jesus. And I'm going to say this again about the Bible. The Bible is truth. The Bible is truth. It was left, written and left here on this earth for us to go by. It's not a bunch of, of fairy tales and fables. This, this word is in truth. It's truth. It's the truth. I'm going to read 2 Corinthians 2.11. 2 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians. <clears throat> my, 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 my. All this wickedness. All this wickedness. All the senseless, senseless killings. Thirteen seventy nine. I'll be there in a minute. I'll be there in just a second, people. Hang tight. Thirteen. Thirteen seventy nine. Matt Martin is joined. Hello, Matt. Hello, Matt. Thirteen seventy nine. God bless you too, Matt. I'm on fire. I'm on fire for the Lord tonight. I'm on fire. 2 Corinthians 2.11 2.11 2 Alright. 2 Corinthians 2.11 Alright. It says, Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. I'm going to go up to 10. To whom ye forgive anything, I forgive also. For if I forgave anything to you, whom I forgave it, for your sakes, forgive it in the person of the Christ. Okay, hang on. Okay, verse 11. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. We know the sat Satan's devices. He will use everything he can. He will use everything he can to cause division. America needs to, hello diamonds, America needs to turn turn back to Jesus. One nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Turn back to, G, to, to Christ, to God. Turn back to God. My, 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 my. Just so much, there's so much I want to read. Just so much I want to read. You can go back over and do and watch the replay too. But go watch the, the replay. Like I said a while ago, the Bible is truth. Sharper than any two edged sword. Sharper than any two edged sword. And it's our job, it's our jobs as Christians, as disciples of Christ, to get the word out. Lord, we need your help. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Because like I said before, God willed that no man perish. No man perish. And there will be many that will. Because they refuse to hear 
the Word of God. That is truth. It's not, what's written in the Bible is not symbolic. It is literal. It is literal. If it was written, it's, it was written, then it's, it's truth. It's truth. It is truth. And again, that is our job, our duty as Christians, as disciples of Christ, to get the word out. I mean, like I said a while ago, all this stuff that's going on just within the, the past two weeks, the past two weeks, the Bible talks about it, of what will happen in these last days. And in the book of Revelation, it talks about the coming of the Lord. All this stuff must happen first. And then it says, see, my word, see, heaven and earth will, will pass away, but my word will not pass away. His holy word, his holy word, his holy word. Jesus will be here soon. Yes, Matt. Yes, he will be here soon. And all of this, I hate to even talk about it. This thing with Hillary and, 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 and all of this is playing it out just like the Bible said it would. Okay, martial law. There's other people that's talked about it. Yes, it's chaos. Other people have talked about it. That's what's going to, that's what all this division is leading up to is martial law. Martial law. The government has complete control. Complete control. And a lot of people are afraid to step up, to step up and speak up, speak up and speak out. I mean, sure, we preach about love, God's love and all this. Yes, because he is, God is love and love is the greatest commandment of all. We are to love one another. Yes, yes. But we also have to preach <clears throat> about the end times. What is going on in this world right now is the end, the end, we are in the end times, the days of sorrow. Martial law is about to come into effect, yes, within months possibly according to news. Yes, I've heard enough on the news, I've seen enough on the news. Our, one of our friends that lives here has, has uh, Fox and CNN on all the time, replaying that horrible thing in Dallas, New York City, other places around in the United States the killings. It's all nuts. But not to be expect not not to be unexpected. We can expect it. Again, because God's word says it. God's word said it. My 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 my. God's word said it. And I'll say this again, we, there must be unity all in the body of Christ. And like Jackie said, this is no dress. This is no dress rehearsal. This is no dress rehearsal for a play. This is truth. At least we'll be entering our homes. It will be scary, but expected indeed. Yes, yes. It's all coming, and a lot of people have the idea that God's going to take us out before all that happens. No, we're going to we're going to go through some of it, some of it, and at some point, yes, God's going to take us out. At some point, he's going to take us out. But until then, until then, all these things have to come to pass. Yes, it is real diamonds. Yes, it is. All these things will come, have to come to pass before the Lord's return. Yes, he will put us through some tests. Yes, he tests us to see how strong our, our faith is. See how strong we are. And that we want, faint not. Hello, Jordan dances. Hello. God bless you. We have to get real, Matt and, and Patty, everybody that's on here. We have to get real. We have to get real. And we cannot, I'll say this again, we cannot tap dance around, around it. We must continue to pray. Yes. We must continue to pray. My, 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 my. I, can't, I know I say that a lot. It's just unbelievable, but it's true. Every day, every day, there's something in the news, something in the news. And then there's, th there's things that they don't even put in the news. I've, I've watched videos. I've watched videos on there 
of all kinds of things. I'm praying for our nations all the time now. Yes, we have we have to pray for our nations. Amen. Need to take 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 the light. Josie says yes. We have to let our light shine. I come on kind of strong there in the beginning because I was on I was and I'm still on fire. Many people will perish. Many people will perish. Again, because they wouldn't listen. They wouldn't listen to the truth. And like I'll say it again, like I've said before, may the police forces of our nations come to know God also. Yes, we must pray for for the the the, the, the police, all the, the law enforcement. There's a, there's already been fifty officers that's resigned already been 50 officers that's resigned now in Dallas I'm not going to perish no you won't no we won't perish because we love Jesus we love Jesus and we have to sound the we, we have to sound the alarm blow blow the trumpet so to speak blow blow the trumpet and be be in deep prayer get into deep prayer unity unity all together in the body of Christ, 50 officers already have resigned. That's 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 what they said on the, there earlier in Dallas, in Dallas, Texas. 50 have already resigned. Such a tragedy, such a tragedy. So much evil. Like I said a while ago, the devil is turning up the heat. The devil is turning up the heat. And we have to work, we have to work even harder as Christians. We have to work even harder. We have to fast and pray. Fast and pray. Martial law will come soon. Yes, that's what we, we were talking about a while ago, Patty. And how, uh, how, how is Jordan's bite on his, on his, on his, on him? There's been a lot, was a lot of people praying about that last night too. Just, just another, another thing of this, of, of the devil. That precious boy got bit by a lizard, a weird-looking lizard. Took him to ER. Okay, so how, how's he doing, Patty? How's he doing, hon? I know a lot of us prayed prayed for him. Martial law will be here within months. Police will have all control. Yes, he's on antibiotics. Well, that's good. That's good. Yes, he'll be okay. In Jesus' name, he'll be okay. He'll be okay. That precious, that precious boy, precious boy. Arm wrapped. Okay. My, 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 my. But I wanted to get on here just for a little bit. He will be fine. Yes. Yes. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. My, 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 my. God has. You're welcome. You're welcome. And we all love you. We all love you, Patty. And we love Jordan. We love Jordan. I get sad, I get sad sometimes. It was not venomous. Praise God, hallelujah! It wasn't venomous. Praise our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It wasn't venomous. Thank you, Jesus. We give you all the honor and the glory and the praise in your precious holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We we, we come before you, dear Jesus. We come before you. All this evil. All the sen these senseless killings and everything. We know that it was already in, in the in the Holy Bible, in your word. Oh, it was in it's in the, the, the word of God. I'm stuttering. I'm stuttering. Jesus, please help us. We ask you to help us, dear Lord. Help us, your children, your disciples. Help us. To know how to talk to people. Praise God. Hallelujah. Help us to know how to talk to people. And bring them to full repentance. To bring them to full repentance and turn their lives over to you. Make them see the signs. The signs are there. The warnings that you sent out. The warnings, dear Lord. Your warnings. Because you said it in your word that all this was going to happen in the last days, in the end times. You said it in your word, dear Lord. So again, we ask you to help us, Jesus, to help us to get the word out, to know to know how to talk, to talk to people. 
There's a lot of people that's scared, absolutely scared to death. It's scared. We're only human. We're only human. But we also know that if we follow you and follow your commandments and we love you and give you complete, give you control, dear Jesus, not us. Give you complete control. Put our trust and faith in you, Lord. No harm will come to us. No harm will come to us, dear Jesus. I love you so much, dear, my dear Lord. I love you. We all love you, Jesus. We love you. And we know that you're saddened. You're greatly saddened. You're angry, but you're greatly saddened, too, for all of this terrible stuff. But again, you said it in your word. It, you said it in your word. Lord, I just ask you to bless everybody that joined on here tonight, Lord, to bless everyone and put peace, put peace in everybody's hearts, Lord, put peace that surpasses all understanding. May peace flow on everybody. May, may everybody feel, feel your, your presence, dear Jesus, to feel your presence, to assure everyone that it's going to be okay. We have to go through the fire. We have to, we have to go through the test because it only makes us stronger. It makes us stronger in you, dear Jesus. And at the end, when all said and done, at the end, Lord, we will be with you. We will be with you, dear Jesus. When you come through them clouds, we will be with you, dear Lord. In your precious, precious, precious holy name we pray. Bring healing, Lord. Bring healing. And it also says, too, you say, it says in your word, that in these last days you will pour your spirit upon all flesh. People will prophesy. Miracles will happen. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us each day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. But lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen and amen. And they all said, they all said, Jordan, amen and amen. Yes, yes. I feel his spirit. I feel his spirit on me. He's quickening me, diamonds. He's quickening me. He's awakened something totally, totally new and wonderful in me. My prayer, my prayer, prayers are getting better now too. Gloria, how should, how should us Christians respond to martial law when it comes into effect? It will be scary. Yes, it will be. Yes, it will be. God will give us strength. God, God will give us strength. He'll give us strength, Matt. Just keep focused on the Lord. Yeah, run, run to the hills. Yeah. We just, we have to keep focused. Keep focused in God's word. I'm moving to the Ozarks. Oh, you're moving to the Ozarks? Well, we're going to be, we're going to be in Tennessee. Mama, you are walking in a new anointing. Yes, diamonds. I feel it. I feel it. Mark of the beast would scare me for sure. Remember, everyone. Good point. We do not. And I repeat, we do not take the mark of the beast, the chip in the hand, the chip in the hand, or a stamp on our forehead. We do not take that. No matter what, we refuse to take it. We refuse. God will see us through it. He'll take us through it. Right, diamonds? Yes, amen, she says. He will take us through it. That's a, yeah, that's a no. Exactly. Exactly. My, 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 my. But the main thing of it is, yeah, I've got purple in my hair. People have, have mocked me and laughed and, and said that's stupid. Well, it's about the, it's about my my Lord. It's about my Lord. It's it's his royalty. I think it's a spiritual mark of the beast. Well, a lot of people think that, that 
this this chip, I forget what it's called now, isn't connected to the beast. Maybe not. In the beginning, it wouldn't be. It it wouldn't be in the beginning, but eventually. See, that's one of the one of the lies of Satan. That's one of the lies of the devil, to deceive people. Lots of people are joining crazy religions and tattoos. Yes, that's true, Wanda, and, and I'm, thank you for joining my scope, honey. Lots of people are joining crazy religions and tattoos. Okay. Jesus is not a religion. Jesus is not a religion. It's about a personal relationship with the Lord. Nowadays, it's not about religion. It's not about religion. And all these man-made religions were man-made. God didn't intend to have all these different religions. God didn't intend it. Man-made. Diamonds, amen. Man-made. Cults are growing fast today. Sure they are, Patty. Sure they are. They will want it. They will want to ensure each of, each of us are accounted for. I hope they don't force anything on our body. The Illuminati. Bingo. Bingo. And we have to, like I've said before, we have to beware and be aware. Beware and be aware. That's right. That's right. There's so many false prophets. So many false prophets. And if they, if, if you have to order a shawl and pay money for a shawl, boom, she says. Boom, bam. Pop, pop. If you have to order a shawl and spend money, no. No. A person can make their own prayer shawl, people. Their own prayer shawl. Get a, buy a beautiful scarf that doesn't cost a whole lot of money. I live in New York City, and the first show was, was last year when they lit up the city with a, with a strange god. Yes, yes. On the Empire State Building. I don't doubt it a bit. Do you think many Christians who don't abide by news martial law will be killed? Probably. We will have to give our lives for God. We will have to give our lives. That's the truth. We we will those of us because the Bible says if we deny Christ, he will deny us and he will say depart from me, I never knew you. I never knew you. We do not deny Christ. Shalom, yes. Shabbat shalom. Make your own scarf. Yes, we can make our own prayer shirt. And there are a couple of people on there and and I thought they were fine and and, and but prayers doesn't cost money. Prayers Prayers are free. This political chaos is where it will start. Well, it started by by the, the racial the racial division. There's been rumors that in Canada they may be use beheading or gassing te techniques. Again, it doesn't surprise me, people. Us true Christians, nothing should surprise us, and we should always be on guard. Always, always be on guard. We should always be on guard, and. Again, some of us are afraid. Yes, some of us are afraid. But remember, read Psalms 91. And there, there may come a day, too, that we won't even be allowed to even have our Bibles. And that's why I've been taking notes down. I've been writing, I've been writing notes. In your spare time, write some of the Bible scriptures out. Write them out. The four Gospels, we, we can't get wrapped up in fear. Exactly, Wanda. Exactly. And... Our our carnal our carnal part of us just we just be warriors and be ready. Yes, I need my Bible like daily bread. Yes, yes, the Bible is food for our souls, food for our souls. But a lot of people a lot of people are writing, printing out the Bible, printing it out. Excuse me, they're printing out the Bible on notebook notebook you know inside folders where you know. Nobody would know what it is. Without my Bible, life would be rough. I know, but I, I'm just saying. Unless we can hide them, but that's it's going to it's going to come down to that. If the if the Lord keeps us here that long, we don't know how long the Lord's going to keep it. You know, until He takes us out. We don't we don't know. We don't know that. We don't know that. But America has turned turned wicked. Like I've said this before too. Like in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah, Noah, Lot, don't allow distractions to keep you away from God. Don't focus on the bad things coming. Right, right, just be ready. Yes, and that's what my duty is as, as a minister of the Lord. 
we have to be prepared. We have to try to prepare people and, <clears throat> and pray that God will give us the words to say. This is all becoming so very real, so glad I'm ready for it. Yes, Matt, you and your beautiful wife and your unborn, your unborn baby. Yes, he will protect us. Yes, it is scary. And it's been going on. This has been leading up to this. I don't know for, see, back in 1948, but a lot longer, like two, three hundred years. Way back in the 1800s, 1700s. It's been leading up, leading up. But we are, we are the last generation. We are the very last generation. That's the truth. We are the last generation, people. So, Gloria Harlow loves you all. And when you get a chance to witness to people, just just bring up, you know, bring bring out, you just bring a few things up, you know, just casual, you know. And some people will, will start start to think about, you know, will start questioning. Could they be talking? Could they be telling the truth? Could they be actually telling the truth that the Bible, the Bible is real, and everything that's in the Bible is real? I mean, the Bible speaks for itself. If people would only read the Bible and pray and, and give their hearts to Jesus, yeah, it's true. It takes every ounce of faith I have. I need to admit that. But it's the truth. God will protect us. Yes, He will, Matt. Yes, He will. And we, as a body of Christ, we love we love everybody. We lift one another up. We lift one another up in prayer. And unity, unity, all in the body of Christ. Unity. God will not fail us, and He will never ever leave us. He will never ever leave us. If we faint not. If we faint not. So I'm going to do the Lord's Prayer one more time. Then I'm going to get ready to sign this out for tonight. It's about uh, 1035. I want nobody to perish in hell. But I know many will. It's so saddening. Yes it is. People have even seen visions of people that's already down there. Already in hell. And screaming out. Screaming out for the Lord. It's too late. It's too late. Wow. Yeah. It's too late. So let's do the Lord's Prayer one more time, okay? I'm still kind of... Go on Google and check out Rick Wilde's prophecy written as a poem. Okay, I will. And Wanda, I want to welcome you to my scope. Sweetheart, come back anytime. And all of you, I love one and all. And I say again, bravo and thumbs up to Jackie, Miss Jackie, for her scope she did earlier. That was absolutely Boom, bam, pop, pop. Yes. God bless you. God bless you all. So let's do the Lord's Prayer again. Patty, I will be giving you a call soon, sweetie. I'll be giving you a call soon, okay? So, all right, let's do the Lord's Prayer, and Gloria's going to get off of here. I, I need to relax, get in, get in prayer myself, okay? And I love you all. So our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us each day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. But lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil, Lord. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen and amen. And they all said, Amen. Gloria, please do as many scopes as you can. They are such a blessing, and God speaks to you. Thank you, Matt. I am, I will. I'm going to get on scope. I, I'm going to do more YouTube videos, too. Are you one of my subscribers to my channel? I, I'm going to start doing more YouTube videos. Yes, diamonds, amen. I love you, sister. I love you, sister. Absolutely, yes. Okay, okay. So, again, keep, keep focused on the Lord. And just think, think like I do. Get some rest, she says. I will. But think like me, too. You know, nothing surprises me. Love you more, Diamonds. But nothing surprises me. Just think that to yourself. Anything bad you hear, just say, well, that doesn't surprise me. It's in God's Word. 
Bible prophecies from Genesis to Revelation. Bible is exploding with, with, with the prophecies. And that helps. It really does help. When somebody comes to you and says, oh my God, blah, 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 you know, just say, well, it doesn't surprise me. We never know when we will see our last scope. That's true. That's very true. That's true. I will get on there more. I will get on there more. I will take the time to get on there more. And read from God's word. Sometimes I will sing. Sometimes I will sing. And but to all to all the people, there goes the Holy Spirit. I just I just felt a washing all over me. But there are so many people that they may end broadcast with melodies one day. Yes, that's coming next. Yes. But so many people, I'm gonna say this one more time before I get off of here, are not preaching what they're supposed to be preaching. They may be preaching about God's love and all that, but they're not preaching about winning souls over to the Lord and what the, the last days are all about. All this stuff that's going on now. And the people should repent, come to full repentance, and, and give their lives to Jesus so they won't go to the bad place. Call Doug 92 Join. Hello. The Great Commission. Yes. Yes. There's a very dear brother. That, that is a wonderful man of God, a wonderful man of God, and I, I keep him in my prayers. I keep him in my prayers. God bless you too. All righty, Matt. I know it's probably late. It's late where you're at. You and your, your beautiful, your beautiful wife, Heather. So glory is going to go now. I love you very much. I'm going to have to remember to share it to to, uh, <laughs> to save this one because it wasn't. I wasn't able to save it. I had to go back over and do something else. But we must definitely pray for our nation. Yes. Heather says, hi, we love you. I love you too. I love all of you that join. And be, feel free to share my videos. To share them, you know, share them to Twitter, Facebook. You know, not to glorify me, to glorify God. Good night, Diamonds. I love you very much. I love you very, very much. Wanda, starting to, to freeze up, so I'm going to go. God is using you, Gloria. Thank you, Matt. Well, I'm trying. I'm trying. Bible News Radio. I'm getting. I'm freezing. I'm gonna have to go. I love you. Um, um, I can't think of your name. Watch the replay. Watch the replay. I love you. God bless you. Okay. Good night.